As beautiful as our environment around us is, there are still questions that need to be asked. Is the air I'm breathing and the water I'm drinking truly safe? As it is in nature, it's just as important to ask questions about our workplace. How does the quality of my work environment affect my health? The health of my friends, family, community? Who can answer these questions? It is the job of professionals trained in the field of occupational and environmental health sciences. Occupational health is is more narrow than environmental health because it really just represents the work setting as an environment. And that, of course, is a, is a subset of environmental science, which is far more global. In occupational health, we look at the interaction between the worker and the workplace. That's really our fundamental interest. And so we're interested in looking at risk factors in the work setting that may affect the health of workers, a place where people spend a large portion of their waking hours. And so again, there are different kinds of risk factors that we can look at, whether they be physical, like noise exposure or heat exposure, or they might be chemical, where people are utilizing chemicals or exposed to metals or byproducts. Or again, like biological elements, such as in a healthcare setting where people may be exposed to infectious diseases. For individuals interested in studying occupational and environmental health, the University of Texas Health Science Center at the Texas Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, or TIOSH, in a unique partnership with the Division of Environmental Science at Stephen F. Austin State University, offers a Master's of Science in Environmental Science with a focus in occupational and environmental health. The Environmental Science Program at Stephen F. Austin State University is one of the first established in Texas. And we've done a really good job of developing our program over the years since the 1970s. And when we joined with the UT Health Science Center at Tyler in the 1990s, we really brought a whole new dimension to the program. The understanding of human health brought into the program added this whole human health aspect to it, which I think is really important. That's what gets people's attention about the environment is how the humans play in it. So when you put together our understanding of outdoor environmental science with the health center's understanding of human health, I think we have a program that's a real winner. For environmental science students and physicians alike wishing to pursue a degree in the field of occupational and environmental health, UT Health Science Center's accredited master's degree program is one of the best in the country, training health professionals in occupational and environmental health for over 15 years. Environmental science is a multidisciplinary field. There is no one person who has all the eggs in the one basket. So you start out with students who come from a variety of disciplines, from biology, to chemistry, medicine, to water quality, and then you teach them some basics. What is toxicology? What is exposure? What is risk assessment? What are the laws that relate to environmental regulations that they need to know about. Then we build on that through a series of courses, optional courses in human health assessment, in industrial hygiene, courses on healthcare administration, epidemiology. There's a wide variety of options that are available too. As part of the program, students of both the land and water track and the occupational and environmental health track gain valuable real-world experience participating in interesting field studies and research projects. We give our students opportunities to be able to uh, have uh, hands-on experience using our instruments to be able to collect data and uh, assess uh, the environmental quality, uh, air quality, uh, water quality, the uh, soil uh, quality. There's a lot of opportunities to work on a lot of very topics. And that's because we have an interdisciplinary faculty that brings a lot of uh, variety to the program, so you can pick out a topic that really interests you to work on. Through the course of the program, I got exposed to this GIS technology, and as a tool of exposure assessment, we call it spatial epidemiology, to look at environmental and public health issues. And so. I never even knew that this existed until I came to this program and now I'm actually continuing on and doing more graduate work in GIS and I'm going to be integrating that into environmental health and public health research. 
On top of innovative research opportunities, physicians pursuing their master's degree spend valuable time out in the field working in various industry, government, and healthcare settings. This rotational residency program is one of the true hallmarks of UT Health Science Center's Occupational Health and Safety Educational Program. As part of our program, we have physicians who are uh, trainees uh, in our environmental science program, which really has a strong core of public health training. They uh, get out of the classroom setting and they go to uh, where health of workers is actually affected. So they go to work sites to get a better understanding of what I was describing earlier, the interaction between the worker and the work. I think the program gave me the, the foundation, the knowledge set that I needed in order to offer to these companies the services that they require. And uh, the knowledge that you have of uh, federal regulations, of exposure, OSHA regulations, those sorts of things, DOT certification and those regulations that are, that are involved in that, all those things are uh, specific skills that you have to learn in order to be able to offer them effectively to companies and, and these companies need those skills. Most of the programs they don't have that relationship with the industries and most of the MPH program, Masters in Public Health, don't offer that focus on industrial hygiene and safety uh, in, their, in their curriculum. I think that's very important. That's, that's very helpful when you go to practice uh, outside. <laughs>